everyone welcome to the video and today we're going to be going over all of the details that we saw in the new system override update so this is going to be a new event with new cosmetics as well as a few new um, added features to the game which they look all very very good so i'm pretty excited about this i'm excited to see how the new uh the new added features work out because i know they added a shield and as well as some of the cosmetics look very very good so let's get right into the video um, the first thing that I noticed from the video was obviously the various cosmetics. I'm going to put some on the screen right now. Um, in this picture, you can see that there is clearly a new Bangalore skin, uh, as well as an Octane skin and a Gibraltar skin. They seem to be uh, continuing with the futuristic theme, almost cyborg type theme. And I won't complain because it all looks very, very good. Um, so this next picture, we have the from what it looks like a new wingman skin uh, looks pretty basic but you know that's just because we don't exactly have a great angle of it but either way looks pretty solid and this next picture is what I'm the most excited about because uh, if you see here it looks like a new lifeline skin but if you look in the background you can see a wraith skin and it looks like a recolor of the quarantine skin so I'm pretty excited about that because I've been waiting for an another wraith skin recolor on the quarantine one since they did the last one i think was done to the void specialist and that was the airship assassin skin which as you guys know is very rare so i'm pretty excited about the reskin of the quarantine one i've been waiting for it for a while but i don't think it's an event skin and i think it's just going to be an item shop recolor we'll see uh actually i'm going to go to the picture right now i'm going to put the picture on screen but as you can see here uh, this also looks to be a recolor on the hemlock skin. There's like a cyborg, or no, cyborg, uh, a kind of like futuristic Tron print on a hemlock skin, and it's like blue. And as you can see here in this picture, um, there's clearly like a yellow to it. So that looks like another reskin. So it looks like those are just going to be two reskins and not actually a part of the event. So next up right here we have the close-up of the gibraltar skin uh this is a closer version of it it looks pretty good and uh overall i do think that most of the skins that they added so far in the event look awesome so the next skin up we have the pathfinder skin the pathfinder skin looks awesome as well he kind of looks like a transformer almost or like a power ranger or some weird shit but uh it looks very good and it fits the theme for most of the other skins as this robotic feel um, also, they have this triple take skin, which also looks pretty solid. I feel like they've added a triple take skin in every single event so far, so I don't know who likes the triple take that much, but either way, the skin looks very good. So up next, we have the caustic skin. Uh, the caustic skin looks pretty similar to the one that was in the battle pass. This one's obviously a lot better overall, but even still, it's the same color scheme to it, and I don't know, I think they could have gotten a little bit more... Uh, in depth to it i know caustic's theme is like green and gas i would have liked to see a different color it still looks awesome but i just think they kind of came a little bit too close to the design scene already in the season four battle pass so next up we have the crypto skin and this one's kind of like this one's kind of awesome because it kind of shows like an exoskeleton uh, robotic skeleton all throughout his body uh, i only have the picture of his face and his chest but you can kind of see his spinal column through his chest right there a little bit this skin looks awesome. I feel like Crypto always gets amazing skins. He's gotten a really, really good skin in every event since he's been out. So that's pretty awesome if you're a Crypto main. So next up we have the Mirage skin. Uh, the Mirage skin kind of looks weird. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about it. He kind of looks um, like half human, half robot. This is definitely the cyborg skin, but his skin looks weird. I don't know if that's his actual skin or if that's just the color of his bodysuit. But it looks pretty solid. Uh, definitely excited about that one as well. And right here we have a picture of all three of the skins. The Pathfinder, Bangalore, and Caustic skin. These skins were featured a couple times throughout the video. So I'll just show another picture of all of them right now. Just in case you didn't get a good angle on them, the first pictures. And next up right here, I don't really have a great picture of it. But it looks to be a new R301 skin. The R301 is another one of those guns that gets a new skin pretty much every single event. So... That's pretty cool. It looks a little like spiky and red, uh, if you can see it from the side a little bit. But, yep, if you like the R301, you should be pretty excited about that skin. So next up right here, we have what looks to be a new L-Star skin. That might also be a, uh, a reskin, but I could be wrong. 
it looks really good it looks futuristic uh, kind of like carbon fiber ish so that look definitely looks pretty awesome so now that all the skins are talked about i want to get a little bit into the new shield i don't exactly know how they're going to pull this off it's called the evo shield um i'm assuming because it evolves every single time you deal damage so i don't know if this is going to be like just a limited time thing right here but as you can tell you can distinguish the evo shield from the other ones because it's obviously glowing i'm assuming it's going to be a very rare item um in this picture right here it says that it inf inflict damage to upgrade the shields for total shield levels and red shield stronger than gold shield so i'm assuming it's got to be pretty rare as you can see by the picture it's like red and glowing and there's an extra bar to it so as just judging off of what they said that it's stronger than gold shield it's probably 25 hp stronger um i don't know exactly how that's going to work and i don't know if they're going to implement this in a long-term environment like if they're going to keep it in the game for a long time i do not know the answers to that but it looks very very good i'm assuming it's going to be extremely rare probably rarer than the gold shield there might even only be limited one per map i'm not sure exactly they haven't spoken a lot about it but it looks pretty awesome i like how it upgrades based on inflicted damage to opponents um i think that's pretty awesome just because any random person can't just pick it up like it might actually be bad for a player that is not as good since they won't be rewarded for getting a lot of damage whereas someone on the higher level of the spectrum in terms of rank ranking and just skill level will be able to absolutely dominate with it it'll give them an extra edge It'll really help with 20 bombs and like 4k badges. I'm 100% I'm certain of it because you'll have an extra 25 shield from what it looks like. I could be wrong, but it says stronger than gold shield and there's an extra bar. So I'm assuming it, it is an extra 25, which is pretty awesome. I'm excited to see how that implemented in the game is actually going to work. And so next up we have the uh, actual game modes in the event. So as you can see here, it's one ring pattern. Um... I don't know exactly what that's all about. I'm assuming that the ring just ends in one spot every single time. So that could be pretty awesome depending on, you know, where it ends. And I feel like everyone's going to try to get there early and it's going to just be a, a, a nightmare for a lot of people. Uh, it should be pretty fun though. And then the next one is World's Edge. I don't exactly know if that means that they're taking out World's Edge, the map itself. But week two is King's Canyon. And I believe there's another one in there somewhere. I don't have a picture of it exactly, but I believe that there's another one where it's specific loot areas where there's certain loot in every single area and it never changes. So that should be interesting, especially if they have like purple shield all in one area, that would be a nightmare to fight for. And I would definitely look forward to doing that. That'll be awesome. I feel like in every event, there's always one location that people just flock to. Like when they brought out the Mirage Voyage, and the void portal for the wraith event those were all very very hot spots so i'm excited to see this event and how it unravels and almost forgot right here this picture um the heirloom for octane it's a switchblade i have a pretty good picture of it right here as well as the new octane skin holding it so it looks very good um i'm definitely excited about this event i've been waiting on a new event for a while now uh, but that's pretty much everything that there is for the event. There's no more details I have to cover. I covered all the skins, the added features, and everything seen in the trailer overall. So that's basically it for today. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.